What's going on guys, Tiger here with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan battle video today. So the 3 year anniversary for Global Dokkan is coming up fast and I just want to make this video to talk about when exactly the anniversary is as well as what kind of events you can expect when it finally drops. So number one, when is the anniversary? Well according to the Google Play Store, the game was released on July 5th, 2015. So logically, July 5th, 2018, or just under six weeks from the time of this video, is when the three year anniversary for Global Dokkan would be. Now, I know that might seem like a long time for some people, but trust me, it's gonna creep on us fast, and you wanna make sure that you're prepared when the storm hits. So, let's talk a little bit about the things you can expect from this anniversary. But before I get into it, I wanna preface this by saying that. I can't make any guarantees in this video. We're most likely going to get a very similar celebration to the one that JP got, but Bandai could also pull a fast one on us and change it up, so just keep that in mind. Also, I finally started an Instagram page for this channel. The handle is at Tiger Uppercut Media, pretty obvious, and I'm basically going to be posting just updates from my day-to-day -day life, what games I'm playing, what I'm doing today, um, cool stuff that I'm up to. It's basically a different way for you to interact with me and just know what's going on with me. So if you're interested in that, then head over to Instagram and hit your boy up with a follow. I'll also be doing a giveaway for my followers over there very, very soon, so keep an eye out for that. But with all that out of the way, let's start with the thing that you guys are most interested in, which is the LR Vegito and LR Gogeta Duo Dokken Fest. So the three year anniversary on JP was the first time we ever saw LRs featured on Dokken Fest banners. And these were real features. You know, in the past we got legendary summon banners that had like 20 plus SSRs along with the featured LR. So the summoning rate was still fairly low. With these ones, there were about 10 SSRs per banner, and each LR had a roughly 0.5% chance to be summoned on their respective banners. The LR Gogeta banner featured the following units. We got Angel Goku and Vegeta, aka LR Gogeta, SSJ4 Gogeta, Int Gogeta, Strength Janemba, Int Janemba, Strength Gogeta, and 4 Goku and Vegeta units that were brand new. Uh, we had a Physical Vegeta, a Tech Goku, SSJ2 Angel Goku, and a Strength Majin Vegeta. The LR Vegito banner featured the same four new units, along with obviously uh, Goku and Vegeta, aka LR Vegito, Physical Super Vegito, Physical Vegito Blue, AGL Super Vegito, Int Kid Buu, and Buhan. So overall, these banners were super lit. Aside from the LRs, which are reasonably enough to summon, um, there were also a bunch of other top tier units on each banner that could be useful for almost anyone. Aside from that, there were 3 plus 1 discounted multi-summon banners for the first 100 hours I believe. And don't forget that with the new GSSR feature that came out on both Global and JP, these are most likely going to be GSSR banners. Not featured GSSR, but GSSR nonetheless. LR Gogeta and LR Vegito themselves are pretty damn broken. So LR Vegito's Patara category team is the hardest hitting team in the game at the moment, and LR Gogeta's Fusions is not that far behind. And aside from that, neither of these units have made a return since the 3 year anniversary. So I gotta say that these banners are must summons if you want these units anytime in the near future. The next big thing that came with the 3 year anniversary on JP were the Purunga Namekian Dragon Ball Wishes. And I'm just going to briefly touch on this because I want to make more in-depth videos when they actually come out on Global. But basically, every single day throughout the celebration, you were able to acquire one Dragon Ball from the Namekian Saga. And once you get seven, you'll be able to make wishes with Purunga. And uh, I believe in total, we could collect 21 Dragon Balls, which meant we could get three sets of wishes. For each wish, we will be able to choose three from the following list of options. So we could either get potential orbs of each type for a total of 10,000 orbs, um, three of each type of Grand Kai, uh, 777 incredible gems, Hercule statues valued at approximately 40 million zenny, so I think it was like five platinum or like five diamond and 10 platinum or something like that, um, a stupid amount of whiffing medals, a stupid amount of training items, or a stupid amount of top tier support items. So with the three wishes, we could choose three from this list three times for a total, I guess, I guess for a total of nine wishes, but there were three sets of Dragon Balls. 
We also got type banners that gave Elder Kai's and orbs. So starting with the physical type banner, um, each 5 days we rotate to a different banner and every time you pulled on this banner you would get 3,333 potential orbs of that type split between small, medium, and large. Uh, the only thing was that each of these banners could only be pulled on once because if you could pull on them multiple times, uh, people would just have way too many orbs and would just get crazy. But these are really really valuable banners for the potential orbs and you also get I believe one or two other Kai's each time as well. The 3 year anniversary also brought with it a pretty stellar free to play unit, that's the strength Kid Gohan that also gets the Extreme Z Awakening all the way up to uh, level 140. He's the leader of the Namekian Saga category and also he just uh, hits really hard, he's a really good nuker and is an easy rainbow too because all the potential orbs you need to open up his potential system are from the event so you don't have to use any of your strength orbs. So definitely don't sleep on him. Um, just take the time and grind him out all the way to 100%, you won't regret it. Next up is the 3 year ticket banner, so every single day you'll be able to do events or finish missions that give you free tickets for this anniversary banner that also has all the LRs on it. So personally, when I did it, I pulled a ton of hot trash, like literally nothing that was useful, but I know a bunch of people that pulled LRs, you know, LR SJ3 Goku, LR Gohan, LR Bojack, whatever. I know some guy that pulled like 4 or 5 LRs from that banner, so that's definitely something to be excited about and I wish you guys all the best of luck. Just a few smaller things I want to cover. One is the stamina time reduction. So for the period of the anniversary, you will be getting 1 stamina for every 3 minutes as opposed to 5 minutes at the moment. All Dokkan events will be open every single day for the duration of the celebration. Each player will be receiving a free Red Dragon Stone upon first login, which will then allow you to choose one of the following units. You can either get AGL, SSJ3 Goku, Tech Perfect Cell, Int Ultimate Gohan, Strength Broly, or Physical Full Power Frieza. At this point, any of these guys are good choices, so it really depends on what you need or what you're missing, because we already know three of them have the Extreme Z Awakenings and are awesome units, and we know that Ultimate Gohan and Cell will be getting their Extreme Z Awakenings sooner than later. We will also be getting a brand new Dragon Stone, that's the purple Dragon Stone. You get it by purchasing the 91 Stone Pack in the store, so it's definitely not free, but kind of worth it because you can exchange it for a 120% Neo God lead in the Baba Shop. You know, that's Ink Gogeta, Physical SJ3 Go Tanks, um, SJ4 Goku, SJ4 Vegeta. So if you guys are missing one of those Neo God leads, this will be a good way to get it for free. Well, I mean, kind of free, not really free, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say. All hidden potential stages will be open on the weekends. We will also be getting two new boss rush stages and I don't know about you but I'm very excited for that because I'm getting bored of the current stages and also this means a lot more free dragon stones. And since we're on the topic of free dragon stones, between the login bonus and the daily missions we should be getting around 8, 9, 10, somewhere around there free dragon stones per day so even if you're a free to play player you'll be able to do a decent amount of summons during the course of the celebration. That just about covers all the major things. I don't want to get into the little nitty gritty details because it's such a huge celebration and there are just so many things to cover. But these are the things that you should be most excited about in just under 6 weeks when the 3 year anniversary celebration finally comes to Global Dokkan. Let me know in the comments down below what you are looking forward to the most. For me personally, it's gotta be LR Vegito. No disrespect to my boy Gogeta, but that Patara team is just too insane and I can't wait to run it to its full potential. But yeah, that's all for me today guys. I hope you found the video useful. If you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and this is your first time watching me, first time to the channel. If you like what you see, you wanna see more of it, then what are you waiting for? Hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. As always, Hope you guys have a fantastic day. This was Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.